Welcome back to the charismatic voice and to Renfest. That is what I'm calling today because we're about to spend over three hours with Ren. We're going to start with an analysis of money game. And we're not just gonna do part one, we're going to do all three parts, the whole trilogy. I'm expecting something epic, like Shakespearean level. And then after the analysis, I hope that you'll follow me to the interview slash conversation that I have with Ren. It is so, so good and so soul filling. It is just going to be an incredible day. So let's get to it. A uh, strange time we're living in, walk and put fear in Higher rocky parties, they make us feel inferior Read one straight, parliament interiors Devils walk among us, they think the criteria Eerie, theory, strike, fearing, weary Minded men when we're clearly Living in dictatorships, nearly Blinded by illusions to choose Who's fooling who? A ball chain to your shoes, I'm pain It's a crying shame, the pursuit Wow Oh my gosh, I am instantly understanding something that I talked with Ren about in the interview. And he didn't want to give too much away. So I asked him to maybe give me a couple of insights into Money Game Part 1, 2, and 3 and, and what I should watch for. And he talked about how they really wanted to tell a story and how one frame, when you see it, it, it's to lead you into the next part and create a question, create some intrigue. And then the next frame is going to answer that, but create another question. And I see that immediately. The storytelling that he's able to do in just one shot with this video direction is so incredible. We're going to talk so much more about that, but let's go back to the beginning for now. This is so intriguing. A uh, strange time we're living in, walk and put fear in Higher rocky parties, they make us feel inferior Read one straight, parliament interiors Devils walk among us, they think the criteria Eerie, theory, strife, fearing, weary Minded men when we're clearly living in dictatorships Nearly blinded by illusions to choose Who's fooling who? A ball chain to your shoes, I'm pain It's a crying shame, the pursuit of our own wealth Lights a flame that makes greed the game The less this whole war burn as the world turns, the whole world burns. But money was invented for trade, but not- This is so creepy and dark. It, it really does feel like Shakespeare, like the beginning of some horrible epic trilogy, right? Wow. Um, I wanna I wanna go back one more time because there's something so fascinating uh, about the way that Ren raps. He's he's actually gotten me more into rap than I think any other artist has ever been able to do. And I'm so fascinated by the way he chooses these sort of pitch centers, like where he's, uh, it's not a true sustained pitch. This is where rap feels like it's different from singing. It's not a melody, but there's still centers, almost like harsh vocals have centers. And the way he bounces back and forth between them, we were discussing it and, talking about how he thinks of it almost like a, a drum kit, the way you've got different different areas for different instruments in the drum kit. It's so, so fascinating. And it's very distinct now that I'm listening to it, the way it uh, has a sort of carved out areas for different words and different emphasis and concepts. Anyhow, I'm nerding, I'm nerding, I know. We're gonna listen to it once more from the beginning. A uh, strange time we're living in, walk and put fear in Higher rocky parties, they make us feel inferior Read one straight, parliament interiors Devils walk among us, they think the criteria So the very first part, he's keeping it all really within the same pitch range there. It's like, it's more, that feels more sung because it's actually sticking around the same note the whole time. But then he starts to make this excursion from it that's much more spoken and that takes us further into the song. I love the way it's drawing us in with the rhythm, but it's really like it has 
a place to grow from because you're keeping it so simple in the first few lines. It's a strange time we're living in bulk and put fear in um, higher rocks um, parties. They make us feel inferior. Read one string, parliament interiors. Devils walk among us, they fit the criteria. Yet you read their restrike, fearing we're weak minded men when we're clearly living in dictatorships. Nearly blinded by illusions to choose but who's fooling who. A pull chain to your shoes, I'm pain. It's a crime. It, I like the way that he allows this natural crack to come into his voice on I'm pain. It's fascinating to me. So, so expressive. And you kind of feel like he's starting to lose his mind a little bit as he goes into this. And that's because the voice is suddenly making so many more excursions. It's really going up and down a lot more. It was so carefully controlled for just a moment so that the big variation, the sort of wildness and the way we're suddenly getting like every single different sound on the drum kit, right? That feels uh, a little, a little insane. <laughs> Come on. Boop. There we go. Who's fooling who? A pull chain to your shoes, I'm pain. It's a crying shame. The Listen to that one more time. Who? A pull chain to your shoes, I'm pain. <laughs> There's a, there's a little crack there. It's amazing. Oh gosh, you know it. I think my battery just died on my space bar, you guys. We're just gonna have to do this the old fashioned way. Here we go. Play button it is. But money was invented for trade. Bernardo's bits of paper. Twist hearts make safe. Turns a saint into a sinner, a child into a killer. His finger on the trigger of a money game. Oh my word. Oh, rain, rain. Oh my word. The silence afterwards, the way he built up the tension, that was so gorgeous and intense. And it just, it was such an exquisite moment. Oh my word. Bernardo's bits of paper, twist hearts, make slaves, turns a saint into a sinner, a child into a killer. His finger on the trigger of a money game. <sighs> rain, 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 rain. A storm it comes our way. And those who rise through distorted lies, poison in the veins. But we die to point the blame, 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 blame. It's easy as to blame. But point the mirror at that sound. We're all part of this old money game. Stop. Wow. There's there's such exquisite tone quality to this top part. There's oh man. I'm I'm actually really fascinated that he was able to achieve that kind of tone quality there. Uh, this is this is from what I think three years ago. And it's amazing, uh, Money Game Part 3 was released very recently. So we're going to be following this incredible trajectory of time and be able to hear how Ren's voice has evolved, but also particularly how his production has evolved. I think it's fascinating to think about where the mics are here, what kinds of mics they're using versus Money Game Part 3. We'll talk more about that. But right now, that tone quality, the way he's holding back, there's a restraint up top, is part of what makes it so intriguing and so good. It's much easier to just let it blast on top. And instead of blasting and just sort of shoving sound at me, by holding back, it feels like he's taken a fish hook, caught us and then drawn us in. Uh, we'll talk about some more things here. I'll, I'll pause a few more times. Finger on the trigger of a money game. So good. Oh, rain, 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 rain. A storm it comes our way. Oh, wow, there's even like a little tiny run at the end of that. So there's this tiny bit of grit in his tone while having that held back feeling. It feels um, both sophisticated and unpolished at the same time. Isn't that grit? Like it's like it's like a little diamond in the rough going on. And those who rise through distorted lines Poison in the veins But we die to point the blame, 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 blame 
it's easier to blame But point the mirror at ourselves We're all part of this old money game I don't think he could have chosen a more perfect tone quality there. And I love the way that you hear writing on his breath the whole time, meaning that his breath support is really, really good. But we not to point the blame, 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 blame. It's easy to blame. But point the mirror at ourselves. We're all part of this old money game. Stop. <gasps> <laughs> Oh my word, that guitar, like at a tune moment and, and the play back and forth between them is extraordinary. Ah, <laughs> I feel so held. And I, shouldn't even, I should say I would feel drawn in even more by the silences. I, gosh, he's like got me wrapped around his finger here. This is ridiculous. And there's our next question. Like, why, why did we get these gloves? <sighs> Side note, this is a, I guess this is gonna be just after spooky season. I feel like this whole visual is uh, very suitable for the times. Oh, that was cool the way he uses vibrato there. Ooh, there's like a little, it's almost um, shaky and, and uh, it even isn't like 100% perfect on the pitch, which I dig. I want it to have that raw feeling there too. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of like a, a sheep just a little bit, the way it's bleeding. And that's actually partly what he's doing is a kind of vibrato that's described as a bleating vibrato. It goes like, <laughs> that kind of feeling. Um, if you guys watched Rock Lobster recently, yeah, you, you know what I'm talking about. my gosh, <laughs> the way he used extra uh, environmental sound there, I love it. I've seen this through so many of his videos where he'll lean into something that's in the environment. That is just part of, I think, his brilliance and his video direction. He's got a small team that has developed this style and you don't need a lot of money to make this happen. They had an extremely small budget for Money Game Part 1. I'm excited what they did with Money Game Part 3 because I know that their budget just expanded so much. And he told me they had a vision that really uh, benefited from that expanded budget. I think 2 is a lyric video, so we'll we'll see what happens there. I, you know, of course, that's a much smaller budget. But it wasn't really until 2022 that Rin blew up. So this is fascinating to see such... <sighs> such detail and storytelling. You can do that without being super famous. You can do that on a super, super small budget. You, I'm amazed. I love his artistry. I love where it's come from and I love the way he's sticking to that same kind of artistry for where he's going. Okay, I'm gonna go back a little bit. Let's go back to this moment before the bat. Like, I, I need to know what these gloves and the bat are for. I dread. <laughs> Dear Mr. President, it's evident that everyone's a resident of fear when they support these ideas to keep us separate. When they make us believe that everybody is coming to terrorize you in the streets, they say badly through grit and teeth. That's my right to hate. That's feeling my speech. Whoa, intense. But when did freedom become a reason to hate? A way to justify a racist slur or insult we make? There's an irony in freedom, cause us in the West We have pillaged and the murder that's how we just call on that sort of the rest That's called hypocrisy, preach a certain value that you never keep 
that rhythm is extraordinary. I I did not uh, I did not read the lyrics before these videos very purposefully. I almost always read the lyrics first. But Ren has had a way in the past of really surprising me with how he delivers the lyrics and he has surprising tales. So there've been a couple times where I've really wanted to just enjoy the story as it unfolds. I I almost feel that reading the lyrics first could ruin where this all goes. Um, so the rhythm that he got into here, I didn't catch every single word, even though the enunciation was crazy. It was just like too much for my brain to comprehend. So I'm gonna go back a little bit and catch some more. When the streets say badly through gritted teeth, that's my right to hate, that's feeling my speech. But when did freedom become a reason to hate? A way to justify a racist slur or insult we make? There's an irony in freedom, cause us in the West We have pillaged and put the demand that's have a discount on that sort of the rest That's called hypocrisy, preach a certain value that you never keep Wow! I still didn't catch every single one, but I caught some more This is, I love the intensity of the rhythm that he puts in here It creates, it almost feels like a set of blast beats in metal that just entered into the fray didn't fear when they support these ideas to keep us separate when they make us believe that everybody is coming to terrorize you in the streets. They say badly through grit and teeth. That's my right to hate. That's freedom of speech. Freedom. Guys. Guys. But when did freedom become a reason to hate? A way to justify a racist slur or insult? This is this is so beautiful. When did freedom become a, a reason to hate? This is, like, I love the way that he's just so human and he's identifying this sort of disease in society here. Mr. President, it's evident that everyone's a president of fear when they support these ideas to keep us separate when they make us believe that everybody is coming to terrorize you in the streets. They say badly through grit and teeth. That's my right. He's just, he's perfectly describing the kind of fear that so many people are under all the time. Oh, oh gosh. That's, <laughs> it's like, this is hitting, really hitting. Dear Mr. President, it's evident that everyone's a resident of fear when they support these ideas to keep us separate when they make us believe that everybody is coming to terrorize you in the streets. They say badly through grit and teeth. That's my right to hate. That's freedom of speech. Oh, gosh. But when did freedom become a reason to hate? A way to justify a racist slur or insult we make? There's an irony in freedom, because us in the West, we have pillaged and put the demand that's have a discount on that sort of the rest. That's called hypocrisy. Preach a certain value that you never keep yourselves. Your country was in flames. You denigrate yourselves in a second. Still, you spit your venom, demonizing immigrants when really you're the immigrant, because all of us are immigrants or descended from immigrants. Irony is imminent. I'll shed the light on immigrants. America was colonized by Britain. Britain, it was colonized by Rome, and also colonized by the Saxons. They were German, by the way. You know how people throw shade upon the Germans because of history's pain, and yet we made the same mistakes all the game. Demonize a whole people, Jewish or Muslim, the same and the same. Old situations play on repeat. The same old TV shows repeat, yeah, we would. Wow. I, wow. These lyrics and the story he's taking us down are just... Uh, if it, it feels like it is just truth dropping, <sighs> uh, <laughs> my heart is beating faster because of the way he's just, I feel like laying it all clear and really saying, Hey, like we all are a part of this. And, and yes, it's anytime somebody points their finger, they also have so much guilt you have. I feel like you have to be humble in life in order to be good in society. Um, I'm going to go back some more. I was so focused on the story, I actually stopped listening to the vocal technique. <laughs> And put the demand that's have a discount on that sort of the rest. That's called hypocrisy. Preach a certain value that you never keep yourselves. Your country was in flames. You denigrate yourselves in a second. Still, you spit your venom, demonizing immigrants. When really you're the immigrant, because all of us are immigrants or descended from immigrants. Irony is imminent. I'll shed the light on immigrants. America was colonized by Britain. Britain, it was colonized by Rome. And also colonized by the Saxons. They were German, by the way. You know how people from Listen to his metronome, that that inner beat. Even though we have this pause in the accompaniment here, he still has this moment of tick, 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 tick that is going the whole time. And he puts in a little more space to draw us into yet another layer of the song. 
it is, I love the way that even though we've got that spot, that, uh, that repose for just a moment, that repose is actually relentless because that metronome, his inner metronome continues on. <sighs> Preach a certain value that you never keep yourselves Your country was in flames You denigrate yourselves in a second Still you spit your venom Demonizing immigrants When really you're the immigrant Cause all of us are immigrants Or descended from immigrants Irony is imminent I'll shed the light on immigrants America was colonized by Britain Britain, it was colonized by Rome And also colonized Keeps by the going. Saxons They were German by the way You know how people throw shade upon the Germans Cause of history's pain And yet we made the same mistakes all again Demonize a whole people Jewish or Muslim, the same and the same. Old situations play on repeat. The same old TV shows. This is like progressive rap too, because it hasn't ever had this clear verse chorus thing. It's just taking us down a rabbit hole. And it's more like, honestly, it's more like an onion because I keep getting layers that I'm being drawn deeper into, and each layer makes me want to cry a little bit more. God. Repeat, yeah, we worship the bleak. Our opinions are our own and we follow like sheep. There's no left, there's no right in the middle, we sleep. Rain, 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 rain. A storm, it comes our way. And those who rise, who distorted lies, poison in the veins. But we'd like to point the blame, 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 blame. It's easier to blame. You have to understand that he is taking this all from a lapel mic to fully appreciate the production that's been done, right? And he's got he's got another mic that's in the guitar, right? But uh, he's moving around and all of his voice is being picked up by this like super tiny mic that is really not great quality micro, okay? like cheap microphone. Yeah, he sounds this good. And when I started talking to him more about production and what he's done with it, I'm just shocked. I think he must be one of the greatest yet most unsung self-producers. Um, the way he's produced himself when he's been busking before and really taking things from these, what I would even call inferior microphones. Uh, you can do so much with a cheap microphone, but I didn't know you could do this much. This is crazy to me. The voice doesn't sound boxy. It doesn't sound like it's missing elements. It sounds uh, present. It sounds personal. It sounds like there are lots of details in it. It doesn't feel like it's missing any particular facets. And it's working both for the rap and the singing. It's like, whoa. And then you also hear in the background all of these uh, other things, like the rustling of his clothes. There are so Many aspects of the production that are jaw-dropping. I, I really thought they must have had more mics set up around the room to be adding various things, and no, just a lapel mic. Holy crap. Demonize a whole people, Jewish or Muslim, the same and the same. Old situations play on repeat. The same old TV shows repeat. Yeah, we worship the bleak. Our opinions are our own, and we follow like sheep. There's no left, there's no right. In the middle, we sleep. Rain, 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 rain. A storm, it comes our way And those who rise through distorted lies Poison in the veins But we'd like to point the blame, 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 blame It's easier to blame But point the mirror at ourselves We're all part of this whole money game Wow! The way that the, the gloves dropped and, and the bats had done all of these things Again, once again, just drawing me more into story. This is crazy, amazing. And I'm gonna go back just a little bit and we'll keep going. Out of this old money game. <sighs> huh. Ooh. This person really looks like a war prisoner, though. 
I, uh, it, it is really incredible how much, um, <laughs> how much concern and, uh, there's a, a certain like human attachment as you're telling stories, you can build up more attachment to someone or, or less and make a person want to distance themselves from them. Uh, throughout this entire video so far, I've been really curious and wanting to know more about the guitar player. And I've been feeling pains, you know, seeing uh, it just looks like a, a horrible situation that the person is in. And then closing our eyes so that we can't see what happens after we've seen all of these uh, tools of violence and, and making it blocking our view like that, it just it made my heart lurch. So, such a small budget, again, yet the way that they drew me into the story and the way that they made me care so much immediately for this person to make my heart lurch like that, Wow, uh, what incredible use of resources. And I wonder now what he will do with more resources in the future. Like, this is hard to watch. Huh. And to be able to continue to sing, well, I love the way he didn't resolve that entirely. Hey, microphone, like what we were just talking about. Ooh, if he took his microphone off, is he not singing anymore? Whoa. Whoa. Yikes. Okay, so uh, obviously I understand much better now why the saga needs to be continued. And uh, I have a burning question that needs to be answered. So we're just gonna head straight into two. Here we go. Strange time of living in panic and hysteria. Oh my gosh. I love the way we have the exact same groove, same key, but we've got a, a different kind of production on the sound, right? With a lot of the one takes with Bren, we have a very acoustic sound actually that's happening in there. This is going to be it could be much more produced. Um, and that's because we're using sound potentially recorded in a studio, so not that lav microphone, right? And we can get a lot of extra things into that mix instead of just a guitar and a voice. Okay, back to the beginning. Um. Um. Strange time. 
I'm a living in panic and hysteria Poor man, learn the rich man don't care for your narcissist mindset spread like malaria Sit back and watch the show America Britain split through fickle shit A government of hypocrites These counterfeit politicians sit in parliament Not adequate Come on. Needlessly bleeding resources all dry Turn a blind eye if it means a pay rise Oh what a shame it would be I would die If number 10 Downing Street burned in a fire Only joke Oh my gosh <laughs> How is he able to do this? This like this repetitive gut punch that I get from Ren, but like like a good kind of gut punch. Yeah, if such a thing exists. It does, I guess metaphorically. Um the way it, it just again, it feels like so much truth dropping and we're not going to get into politics, okay? Even though this is very much about politics. Um but uh right I think I think everybody has had a moment when they feel that a politician is just not honest or that they've stolen money or that they're putting on a big show and doing something crazy in the background. Oh, gosh. I love the way he doubled his voice there. Hmm. I love it. Strange time of living in panic and hysteria Poor man, learn the rich man don't care for your narcissist mindset spread like malaria Sit back and watch the show America Rips. Okay, so I can tell from this one It sounds like he's got a little more of that Melodic content in the rapping Where he's really picked up a specific pitch Instead of just a pitch center And let's go back a little bit more And I'll talk about some of the words that stick, uh, stick out <laughs> I mean, obviously, that's melodic. Strange time of living in panic and hysteria. Poor man, learn the rich man don't care for your nose. So, poor man, learn. Obviously, this is sticking mostly to one pitch and it's having little uh, jumps away. And they're specific jumps. So, at this point, I would say it's actually mostly a melody. This is mindset spread like malaria. Sit back and watch the show. America Rips. <laughs> The way he says America and the animation that's mixed with it is, uh, <laughs> oh it, it is like just the right amount of cheekiness and truth wrapped into one. Oh my gosh. Strange time of living in panic and hysteria Poor man, learn the rich man don't care for your narcissist mindset spread like malaria Sit back and watch the show America Britain split through fickle shit A government of hypocrites These counterfeit politicians sit in parliament Not adequate Come on I, The way he keeps going through the same It's almost like three pitch centers as he's going Um and all of the same kinds of rhythm. There's this, uh, it's like a melodic and rhythmic pattern that just keeps getting stamped and makes it more catchy and more sticky as it goes along. One more time on that section. Come watch the show. America Britain split through fickle shit. A government It's actually four pictures. Not adequate. Come on. Needlessly bleeding resources all dry. Turn a blind eye if it means a pay rise. It's robotic. It would be, I would die. If number 10 Downing Street burned in a fire. Only joking, only messing. Don't be stressing. I'm a peaceful adolescent. There's no need to be unpleasant. Write my thesis in a rhyme scheme to analyze the brain while my finger's on the trigger. Of a money game. Oh, rain, 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 rain. Oh, I love the way he's brought back that melody as well. Wow. Oh my gosh, the images. I just realized. Wow. <laughs> wow. He's so self aware in his writing. It feels like it's almost this self exposition that's happening when he when he creates a song. It doesn't necessarily. Um, it doesn't feel like it's being designed around a particular trend. It's just uh, this deep truth that he has come to realize over time. <sighs> Love it. Oh, let's, let's hit play. There we go. If number 10 Downing Street burned in a fire. Only joking, only messing. Don't be stressing. I'm a peaceful adolescent. There's no need to be unpleasant. Write my thesis in a rhyme scheme to analyze the brain while my finger's on the trigger of a money game. Oh, rain, rain, rain. A storm it comes our way And no surprise to distort the lies Poisoning the face 
we that the point play, 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 play. It's easy up to play. We point the mirror bright ourselves. We're all part of this whole money game. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. Wow. Wow. So I'm I'm thinking more and more about how he's producing his voice. Because this this is an example of when a musician gets to produce their voice under circumstances that they can control. Um, you can only control a circumstance with live performance and a lab so much. There's still going to be all kinds of environmental sounds that will uh, be happening. It, you've got one take. You don't get to comp everything together, right? In, in a studio, you can sing something over a take if you don't like that take. But what often happens in the studio is we'll end up getting a a version of the vocal that feels too clean. It starts to lose its humanity. And I am greatly appreciating that Ren has left these little imperfections in here every now and then. He's not futzed with the vocal so much that if you saw it in Melodyne, it would be the perfect pitch all the time. Instead, he's left expression and life and humanity in his vocal and still made the sound bigger, still given it like a more polished, more produced feeling. Uh, he's he's really a re remarkable uh, audio editor. And those who pass to distorted lies, poison in the veins, but we got the point of play, 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 play. It's easy up to play. We point the mirror bright ourselves. We're all part of this whole money game. Ooh. Okay, so we heard that that particular hook in the previous one as well. There's, you know, there's so much that are in, is in common between those songs. But here he's able to double that melody to make it even more catchy, even easier for anybody, no matter what your range is, to sing along. That's that's like a lovely light way, I think, of adding adding a vocal layer that doesn't take it too far away from the original. Oh. Part of this old money game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This old money game. Mm -hmm. I like that vibrato. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This old. Money is a game and the ladder we climb Turns a saint into a sinner with his finger in crime I'll break uh. it down for you motherfuckers line by line This is business economics in the nursery <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh uh, And there's that turn of words that is so perfect Business economics in a nursery rhyme I, I, I'm I so ready for this I'm ready for this and oh, I love this when you do, when you hover on YouTube and you're able to see what parts are replayed the most. Everybody likes this part, apparently. Uh, I'm so excited. What a freaking fantastic lyric. I'll break it down for you motherfuckers line by line. This is business economics in the nursery rhyme. She sells seashells on a seashore, but the value of these shells will fall. Due to the laws of supply and demand, no one wants to buy shells because there's loads on the sand. Step one, must create a sense of scarcity. Shells will sell much better if the people think they're rare, you see. Bear with me, take as many shells as you can find and hide them on an island. Stop piling high until they're rarer than the diamond. Step two, gotta make the people think that they want them, really want them. Really fucking want to hit them like Bronson Influencers, product placement, featured time time entertainment If you haven't got a shell, then you're just a fucking waste man Three, it's Monopoly, invest inside some property Start a corporation, make a logo, do it properly Shells must sell, that will be a new philosophy Swallow all your morals, they're a poor man's quality Four, expand, expand, expand Clear forest, make land, fresh blood on hands Five, why just shells? Why limit yourself? She sells seashells, sell oil as well Six, <laughs> Oh my word. Oh my word. He has so many brilliant songs, but this breakdown of using seashells and how she sells them into, into business economics and sort of the devolution. Oh my gosh. What brilliance. This is definitely something I want to share with kids as like a quick breakdown of what what economics can look like, uh, and certainly when they go bad, what they can look like. Oh my word. Okay, you know what? We're gonna go back here. We're gonna go back here because this is too good. Shells on the seashore, but the value of. Can I. 
I just got to say, Little Mermaid placement, brilliant. Oh, this is all brilliant, but that one is a, a particular favorite of mine. These shells will fall due to the laws of supply and demand. No one wants to buy shells because there's loads on the sand. Step one, must create a sense of scarcity. Shells will sell much better if the people think they're rare, you see. Bear with me, take as many shells as you can find and hide them on an island. Stop pile them high until they're rarer than the diamonds. I gotta say, I just want to put a little thing in here. Um, people always ask us if we're competitive within within YouTube. And uh, I think what they're trying to say is, do you like try to find your competitors and and get ahead of them? Would you ever try to tell them stuff that's not good information? And here's here's the thing. I think that reaction and analysis videos, on YouTube are kind of like cat videos. Like people want to see how this person and this person and this person and what perhaps you've already seen five different reaction and analysis videos of Money Game. And you just wanted to come here to see what I had to say about them because you want to understand that song and that artist so well. You love that song and that artist so well. So I like, I really, really, really like being on YouTube, and I like other reactors and analyzers. Let me tell you, Julia Nylon has an incredible channel, okay? Beth Roars has an incredible channel. Uh, there, there are so many goodness. Uh, Tank the Tech, these are people that I've talked to that we support. We're like always, I am, I am gung-ho for them. I love Love Tank's channel. I love the way he breaks down music technology. This is just a, an aside to tell you there are so many more fairy voice mother. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I really, actually, really, really love my colleagues on YouTube and I love meeting them in real life and I love getting together with them. I just, heck, I just met, met Peter Barber uh, for the first time. He's brilliant. So let me tell you, there are other incredible YouTubers out there. I'm not creating scarcity, whatever. Go listen to all of them. Enjoy music, appreciate it more. Maybe I'm a bad businesswoman, but hey, I wanna make sure that people are more fulfilled with music appreciation in life. Okay, back to, back to the incredible economics breakdown that I probably just broke. There's loads on the sand. Step one, must create a sense of scarcity. Shells will sell much better if the people think they're rare, you see. Bear with me, take as many shells as you can find and hide them on an island. Stop, pile them high until they're rarer than the diamond. Step two, gotta make the people think that they want them. Really want them, really fucking want them. Hit them like Bronson. Influencers, product placement, featured primetime entertainment. If you haven't got a shell, then you're just a fucking waste, man. Three, it's Monopoly. Invest inside some property. Start a corporation, make a logo, do it properly. Shells must sell, that will be a new philosophy. Swallow all your morals, they're a poor man. Quality for expand, 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 Ugh. clear forest, make land, fresh blood on hands. Five, why just shells? Why limit yourself? She's I, it's so fascinating to hear the instrumentation as it's uh increased as they're going through. It's not just the dynamic that's increasing, but the shift in instruments that makes it start to feel a little bit evil. We'll do it properly. Shells must sell, that will be a new philosophy. Swallow all your morals, they're a poor man's quality. That was such a good movie. Expand, 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 clear forest. There's that robotic feeling again. Hands five. Why just shells? Why limit yourself? She sells seashells, sell oil as well. Six on, sell stock, sell diamonds, sell rock, sell water to a fish, sell the time to a clock. Seven, press on the gas, take your foot off the brakes. Then run to be the president of the United <gasps> States. Eight, big smile, mate, big wave, that's great. Now the truth is overrated, tell lies out. I can't comment on that part. I'm not gonna comment on that part, but wow, wow. As well, six on, sell stock, sell diamonds, sell rock, sell water to a fish, sell the time to a clock, seven. Press on the gas, take your foot off the brakes, then run to be the president of the United States. Eight, big smile, mate, big wave, that's great. Now the truth is overrated, tell lies out the gate, nine. Polarize the people, controversy is the game. It don't matter if they hate you, if they all say your name, 10. Oh man. It, okay, that right there just hit on one of the reasons I don't go deep into politics on the channel, and that's because I'm here to bring people together in music appreciation, in falling more in love with the voice, falling more in love with the artists that you already like. I want you to get more out of your life and your time by understanding how to appreciate the things you're hearing more. We're just, we're increasing the vibrancy of your ears and of your life. So why would I want to introduce politics into that circle when it divides so many people? This is inclusive. This is about um, increasing, I think, 
a certain awareness and acceptance of each other and of the incredible music all around the world. So that's my reason why I hate, I hate the division that I see when we can all really come together in music. The United States, a big smile, make big wave, that's great. Now the truth is overrated, tell lies out the gate. Now I'm polarized, the people, controversy is the game. It don't matter if they hate you, if they all say your name. Ten. The world is yours, step out on the stage to a round of applause. You're a liar, cheat, a devil, a whore, a new self. <laughs> Way to bring it back. Rain, 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 a storm it comes up way. And no surprise to distorted lies, poison in the veins. But we die upon the blame, 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 blame. It's easy to blame. The piano is we're so beautiful. We're all part of this. So the I'm just gonna go back just a little bit because the the piano is so so gorgeous in this. Wow. Blame, blame. It's easy to play. It's so sad. What a great instrument for this evolution. Oh my gosh. This old money game. Oh, that's right. We don't know what happened to him after after the potential uh, firework. Oh my gosh, I was so involved in this <laughs> in this video. I I don't think I even missed the one take. I love that new approach that I haven't seen from Ren before. It was so effective in in the storytelling. Still, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, and yet I still don't know what happened to him. Okay, next one. Here we go. Um, I'm one of those people that gets motion sickness sometimes from first person shooters. So you can imagine that that made me all twisted stomach inside, which is great. That's, I think what that's supposed to do. Um, uh, I love the sound of classical piano. Just, I love it. My mom is a piano teacher. She is a piano teacher, I should say. So, uh, yeah, I've been, been doing piano since before I could speak. <laughs> it's, it's, um. Maybe it was just like one note at a time back then, but oh, I love piano. I thought I was going to be a pianist rather than a vocalist for most of my childhood. I'm going to go back to that one more time. Uh, I like the idea that we're taking that sort of haunting piano from Money Game Part 2 and bringing that into Part 3. I'm curious about all those rings. Hmm. 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 What an interesting sound. Like the Foley here. Is that really what it sounds like on the keys? It, it is, it's enhanced though. Heck yeah, arpeggios. Nice curl to the fingers, knuckles are a little bit low, but that's not always necessary. I <laughs> know, piano, I love it. Oh, gosh. Oh, and look at the reflection in the, oh. Nice. Oh, similar. Oh, that's right.
So I think it's fascinating the way that they've switched places there and really given us that same uh, impression we got uh, several times throughout that uh, anytime you point your finger uh, that you also can have tons of blame and, and tons of guilt on yourself. The way that they've uh, switched here makes me feel like any any victim could be the perpetrator. And additionally, there's a certain grandness in the way they're both in suits that make you feel like this is the hind level of money game where this person has perhaps gotten to the top of the finance realm. And uh, we're going to see some of that evil that the nursery rhyme previously taught us about. Let's go back just a little bit and then we'll keep going. His voice is haunting. <gasps> Good mirror placement. And you can see the laugh right there. So when talking with Ren, um, that is one of the things that they've upgraded now. So any of the any of the sounds that we're hearing from this music video is gonna have some better microphones uh, just to pick up more details and more body of sound. And really, because he's such an incredible producer and he knows how to do so many things to make the voice still sound entirely alive with a super cheap mic, uh, it makes his life just easier. Like, there's so many extra steps when you have not an ideal setup that you need to learn how to take and uh, you have to do so much to make the sound really shine. But here, essentially by uh, improving the quality of the recording equipment, it'll allow more time, I think, for him to continue to focus on more creation of other projects. Uh, it's one of the reasons that I want to support Brent. I want him to create making music um, or keep on making tons of music and make it possible for him to make even more music and create a, a bigger impact. Let's go back a little bit. Notice in this, part of what makes it haunting at a specific moment is the way that he'll give extra slide. A lot of times when he's going between notes, he'll be exactly specific. One pitch, next pitch, that pitch. And instead, ooh, he has this moment where he really just kind of slides. It's like this goopy pitch between two pitches that happens. And that tends to make it feel a little bit more ghost-like. Uh, let's go back here. That was really sliding right on that last part, right? It's an interesting, like, sound. Oh! Huh! Let me tell you a story about. So much emotion can be made with just vowels. We just heard so much story that it felt like it had some sadness and remorse, but we're gonna go back and just start right where that rap is. You don't need lyrics to create a great song. You're right? Ooh. Let me tell you a story about a boy named Jimmy. One years old and his first words were mine, mine, gimme. Two years old he was walking, three years old walking quickly. Four years old he was running round the pavements of his city. Five years old and his daddy told him, listen here son, you gotta learn to be a man. A man he works for what he wants. Six. I do think that this mic is really nice for Ren's voice. That There's a... Or it, it might be the way he's produced now, too. It just sounds a, a little more full in the over sound, overall. Uh, yeah, that's like the overall spectrum. If I take a look at the frequencies in his voice, I feel like I'm getting 
more vibrancy and uh, and a bigger variety of them, which creates a more complex and full sound. Two years old, he was walking. Three years old, walking quickly. Four years old, he was running so around epic. the pavements of his city. Five years old, and his daddy told him, "Listen here, son, you got to learn to be a man. A man he works <laughs> for what he wants." Six years old, and he's reading, writing, top of the bunch. And when he's seven, his regression made him student number one. Eight years old, and he's praised for unusual grades. Nine, his parents paid for private school to nurture the flame. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, he ascends and ascends. His daddy tells him, son, money is the means to all ends. Fourteen, solving complex mathematic equations. At fifteen, IQ 150, still elevating. Sixteen, he developed develops complex software code that detects me. It's, it's interesting. I feel like there's such a juxtaposition here um, because if I were just to read the lyrics, which I'm obviously listening to right now for the first time, I would think, oh, this is lovely. This kid had talent that got, uh, had resources to give some extra nourishment to. Um, and I love that, you know, he's able to solve complex problems. Like, cool. Uh, but behind it, we've got this very minor musical background and a lot of the tone quality that Ren is bringing to it makes it feel like this is not a good thing. Um, <laughs> and especially the way that he approached with that dad voice to the kid, it felt abusive. I'm going to come back a little bit right in this area. This is so interesting. City, five years old and his daddy told him listen here son you gotta learn to be a man a man he works for what he wants six years old and he's reading writing top of the book yeah that's that's the only part the part where the dad's speaking to the kid that feels like it's like like hmm i don't i don't know if i really like that but um i i guess i can understand that that might be something a parent would want to impart to their child hopefully a little a little, little more softly <laughs> than that and may, maybe with a little more like openness to the individual and what the individual aspires to achieve anyhow uh we'll keep going watch for Rin's snarl this is how he's creating this sort of evil sound in his tone he has a lot of like a lip pulled back uh the feeling of canines showing like think about a dog snarling and that can create a really evil tone in the voice, even in speaking. Lunch, and when he said him, his regression made him student number one. Eight years old, and he's praised See, not to as much right now. Grades. It's Nine, a little nicer. His parents paid for private school to nurture the flame. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, he ascends and ascends. His daddy tells him, son, money is the means to all ends. Fourteen, solving complex mathematic equations at fifteen, IQ 150, still elevating. Sixteen, he develops complex... I like the way he, he's introducing certain pitches and repetitions of those pitches here to, to bring me in a little more. I feel like I'm starting to get a little more stability in the music and where it's going. Um, that, that for me, I've been feeling really disoriented so far uh, in this, and this is making me feel like I've got some solid ground to understand the music even more from. Private school to nurture the flame. 10, 11, 12, 13, he ascends and ascends. His daddy tells him, son, money is the means to all ends. 14, solving complex mathematic equations at 15, IQ 150, still elevating. 16, he develops complex software code that detects weaknesses in cybersecurity protocols. 17, and he sells his vision, keeping the share. Not yet an adult, but he's practically a millionaire. A 18 and his daddy tells him now you're a man this world don't give a damn about you so take all that you can 19 he turns up <laughs> it's amazing how how just one ideal that niggles into a person's understanding of the world can make everything go south this is it's important i think that you find figure out what your values are maybe Assess them, make sure they're good values, and then stay rooted in them. And don't don't get swayed by crap like that. For <laughs> security protocols, 17 and he sells his vision, keeping the shack. Not yet an adult, but he's practically a millionaire. 
18 and his daddy tells him now you're a man This world don't give a damn about you so take all that you can 19 he turns a profit, stocks and shares, invest in product 20 double down deposits, 21 his income rockets 22 he learns the truth is just an obstacle to wealth If you manipulate the data then the lie will sell itself 23 a life of luxury I love the piano accompaniment. I love it. The way that we've had so many um, different uh, movements and, and uses of the octaves. And and we have right now this almost frantic feeling that's starting. I also like the way that the tempo feels a little bit fluid at times. Uh, it's very, very exciting. Uh, just written in piano. Mwah. Teen and he sells his vision, keeping the share Not yet an adult, but he's practically a millionaire Eighteen and his daddy tells him, now you're a man This world don't give a damn about you, so take all that you can Nineteen, he turns a profit, stocks and shares, invest in product Twenty double down deposits, twenty-one his income rockets Twenty-two, he learns the truth is just an obstacle to wealth If you manipulate the data, then the lie will sell itself Twenty-three, a life of luxury, crystal and cocaine 24, he makes the Forbes list, they're applauding his name 25, and his daddy tells him Listen here son, while you're sitting in that palace That don't mean that you won 26, a business shift, he's oh, It's so sad It's so sad That there's this, always this sense that the kid isn't good enough for his dad um, that, Or that he hasn't made him proud I just, that, like, that breaks my heart uh, I have my, my, my little son right now who's 17 months old and I try to do everything I can to let him know that he makes me proud all the time. It's just heartbreaking to me to think about a, a kid growing up in a situation like that, which I know is very, very common. It's just like, it's just so sad. Kids are so precious. And, and, uh, and then the way it gets twisted and it can continue in that kind of relationship to uh, just hurt into adulthood. There's so many things then that adults need to work through often when they've had this kind of history. Oh my gosh. Ugh. I love the way that we're using numbers to keep us in the storyline. I I believe he is a master at telling stories and the way that he's built the numbers up with the age to take us along on this ride is really helpful for uh, dragging me through it without uh, making me have to pause and wonder at every single moment how old the person is. <laughs> 19, he turns a profit, stocks and shares, invest in product 20, double down deposits, 21, his income rockets 22, he learns the truth is just an obstacle to wealth If you manipulate the data, then the lie will sell itself 23, so a life of luxury, crystal and cocaine 24, he makes the Forbes list, they're applauding his name 25, and his dad This is so interesting, the way he's making that sound is he's creating a ton of angel space, so almost like Take an egg and then don't drop it. Not like right down, not down on top of your larynx, not back here, but come back to like your soft palate. So take an egg and suck it in up there and then give a little bit of extra nasality too. It's a fascinating tone quality. Fun to play with. The cool to wealth. If you manipulate the data, then the lie will sell itself. 23, a life of luxury, crystal and cocaine. 24, he makes the Forbes list, they're applauding his name. Nice. 25, and his daddy tells him, Listen here, son, while you're sitting in that palace, that don't mean that you won. 26, a business shift, he switches business to arms. He's 27, dealing nuclear and shells in Iran. 28, inside the Senate, money bought him a seat. He's 29, a role of council. So in the president's suite, now he's 30. His daddy says you're losing the- Wow. <laughs> this feels, uh, again, I got another gut punch there. Boof. Uh, <laughs> yikes. The, I, I'm really digging the way the video is shot. This is taking that one shot idea, but with a bigger budget, he's able to bring in extras in a different way to give that idea uh, often he's able to give really, really quick snapshots of each age. And that is actually taking ideas from both part one and part two and combining it uh, in this part three masterpiece. <sighs> Good use of budget, man.
He switches business to arms He's 27 dealing nuclear and shells in Iran 28 inside the Senate money bought him a seat He's 29 a role of counsel in the president's suite Now he's 30 His daddy says you're losing the race You're just a servant to the king Not even in second place 31 a big manoeuvre for his daddy's approval Moving imports over borders from the exports out of Cuba 32 moving grams growing kilos to tons He's 33 filling warehouses with powder and guns 34 turf war with nobody to stop it blind eye from the popo inside of his pocket wow it's like it it's like he's following the nursery rhyme exactly uh i love the spinning camera there again little tiny touches like that are so incredible okay i'm gonna keep going Houses with powder and guns, 34 turf war with nobody to stop it. Blind eye from the popo inside of his pocket. Thirty-five. He gets the call. I'm sorry, son. Bears your father. Had a heart attack. I'm sorry, he's gone. Thirty-six. Getting pissed off. Abusing his product. Thirty-seven. Eyes glazed. Disposition demonic. Thirty-eight. With a prostitute. A moment of passion. He and Gosh. It's just... It's amazing how this one relationship can turn everything in life. Uh... It, and it's so incredibly hard for, I think, a kid to find a way to adjust that relationship with their parents later on. I'm really lucky. I, I honestly just grew up in an incredibly fortunate situation with two great, great, great parents. But I know plenty of other people very close to me who uh, did not have that, that luck. And watching the endless struggle is amazing and if that isn't resolved in some way before somebody passes like figuring out how to deal with that is even worse like it's already hard to lose a parent but to have that unresolved gunk wow wow i feel like ren is just capturing this perfectly five he gets the call i'm sorry son Bears your father had a heart attack. I'm sorry, he's gone. 36, getting pissed off, abusing his product. 37, eyes glazed, disposition demonic. 38, with a prostitute, a moment of passion. Heating up a silver spoon and then chasing the dragon. 39, getting breathless and hungry for power. Daddy's words are still driving him to kill and devour. Makes a move against the cartel, but the strategy's flawed. They retaliate and leave him in a hospital ward. Her Bullet buried in his vertebra and one in his leg. The doctor sighs and says, I don't think you'll be walking again. Fuck. <laughs> I feel like Ren personally feels this very, very, very keenly uh, just from his history and, and diseases that he has fought. Uh, wow. And I think that because he can relate to so much of the mental uh, difficulties and the physical difficulties, everything combined just sort of life beating a person down. He's able to really convey this story extremely well. On in his leg, the doctor sighs and says, I don't think you'll be walking again, fuck. Such a quick acting shift. His acting is great. Such a beautiful shift there. Oh my goodness. Wow. I, I love, obviously, from my background, I love classical instruments and I'm just, ah, the somberness that even seeing them and these people with these bags over their heads, uh, it's just sets an incredible tone. Okay. Let me tell you a story about a boy named Jimmy. He was 40 and he cursed the words, mine, mine, gimme. 41, he wasn't walking. 42, not walking quickly. 
43, never running round the pavements of this city. 44, inside a palace with a mountain of gold. But those riches turn to rubble when perspective evolves. Weighing heavy on his conscience is the value of gold. Lamborghini for a life, trading money for souls. Jimmy followed the cold inside the land of the free. Put your hand inside the cookie jar, take more than you need. And his example is exaggerated versions of me. And it's a version of him. And it's a version of she. And it's a version... Oh my word, I have so many goosebumps and so many feels. The, the, his example is an example of me, the way he just brings it back and relates it. It's like, hey, we are all, all have these aspects in us. We're all guilty of a money grab at some point. Um, the use of the strings is incredible. They make me feel so deeply. This is one of the reasons I love classical music. It's just, a string instrument starts up and I feel like it's vibrating my heart. <laughs> 41, he wasn't walking. 42, not walking quickly. 43, never running round the pavements of his city. 44, inside a palace with a mountain of gold. But those riches turn to rubble when perspective evolves. Weighing heavy on his conscience is the value of gold. Lamborghini for a life, trading money for souls. Jimmy followed the cold inside the land of the free. Put your hand Conscious. inside the cookie jar, take more than you need. And his example is exaggerated versions of me. And it's a version of him. And it's a version of she. And it's a version of you. There's no escaping the blame. The way we live is parasitic. Fuck the money and fame. Call the music. That's one of the first times I've really just been like, no, please don't stop the music. That was so gorgeous. The orchestration was so gorgeous. I We will continue, but that, that was so beautiful. I'm gonna go back and watch that part, I think, again, probably after we finish. This isn't entertainment. This is real life. The way we live is lunacy, community, it declines. Hyperpolarized, always fighting, then we divide. Truth is less important than the money that we designed. Money's an invention. Politics from our invention. They all come from people's ideas. Did I mention? Borders an invention. Law and order fuel the tension. It leads to people killing each other. My solution. Huh. I had a definite, a definite um, change of frame there, but I just, I gotta say, I'm really nervous about where this is going. Uh, but I also love it when Ren just speaks to the camera. He is a motivational speaker, I think, in the form of rap and music. Everything is subject to change. We could build utopias if individuals were taught to use their brains. But if we teach kids in schools to always be sheep and put themselves before the herd, if there's more money for me, then there's no future I see where the humans survive with parasites inside a petri dish with cannibal minds. Mold will grow upon the surface and consumes till it dies. And our fate could be the same without this story to the wise. Oh my word, this is so echoing that pouring um, in the first video. <laughs> wow. Wow, I wonder if this is the character essentially from the first one, but showing how he got there. And well, no, I don't, it, I'm probably connecting those two wrong because mobility was different. Anyhow, wow. 45, Jimmy comes home out of the rain. Soaking wet upon the wheelchair, drinking the game, 
He is everything he wants, he is fortune and fame He's a fortunate fool with an unfortunate fate With a 45 calibre aimed at his brain 45 a fitting number cause his age is the same Here's the words of his father It's such a damn shame <laughs> Then he presses on the trigger of a money game it's just so sad. <sighs> so heartbreaking. Um, I just, you guys have seen on this channel many times me talk about mental health and the importance of, um, of building yourself up, of getting help. Um, I will absolutely um, put the National Suicide Hotline number down below this video if anybody is in a place where they feel that they cannot find another way forward in life. Um, just please don't. There, there is a light that can be found, even if you don't see it at the end of the tunnel. Help exists. <sighs> Ugh. Get back a little bit. I, Jimmy comes home out of the rain, soaking wet upon a wheelchair, drinking again. He is everything he wants, he is fortune and fame. He's a fortunate fool with an unfortunate fate. With a 45 caliber aimed at his brain. 45 a fitting number, cause his age is the same. Here's the words of his father. It's such a damn shame. Then he presses on the trigger of a money game. Ugh. Wow. I feel like an emotional wreck. This is a good thing, right? The ability of an artist to uh, reduce us to our knees and make us reconsider our values, make sure that we're on the right path in life, that is, that is priceless. That is so important. His message and his story are so strong. And I think you will be as impressed as I am with him, even more so when you hear about how he applies these life values every day, how they have evolved. You can find that out very soon in a conversation slash interview that's going to be premiering right here in just a few minutes. I hope I will see you there and may you fall more in love with music every day.